Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World. Today, we are doing the the full tube service. So this is a northbound service. This service travels to... I don't know, actually. What was that? Uh, so let's look at the message log. Uh, the service terminates at Harrow and Wellston. So we're actually starting in the tube. Uh, let's unlock the doors while we're doing that. We'll set this up to go to Harrow and Wellston. Okay. Uh, jump back in my seat. Uh, dead man's handle, no. I want you on one breaking for the moment. Uh, unlock doors. Ah, the passengers are at the right hand side, not the left hand side. Okay. Uh, so I'll have to get those closed up pretty sharpish. Alright, get them closed up now. Doors are locked, set it to off and release, get rid of the audible, and away we go. Now, 15 miles per hour for this section. And we are off. We are in the tube. And heading out. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, so we're going to get a 25 mile per hour speed limit coming up soon. Lambeth North is the first station. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's uh, add a little bit of speed. Keep it at 15. We need to try and conserve as much time as possible because this literally has all the stops. Alright, so there's that 25. Uh, let's get it going up. Only 200 yards to the first stop, though. Uh, we need to keep an eye out for signal aspect changes, etc., etc. We shall do so. But so far, so good. Uh, so 17.03.15. That's uh, quite a lot of time to get to the first one. But it is, as we know, not exactly a... A fast section of the line. There we go. We're up to 30. But in 300 yards, it's going to come down. So it's going to come down after the next uh, station, it looks like. And we're basically there. So let's prepare to slow down. Two breaking. Is two breaking enough? It could possibly be. That's fine. Right, crack open the doors. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so we've got some time to wait here. So that's really nice. Uh, right. Wait until 17.03 and 30. And speed limit is going to be 20 as we head out here. I can't jump outside the cab when I'm in the tube. That's sad. That's really sad. Oh well. <laughs> right, so it's still 30 seconds to go. We've got quite a, quite a fair amount of time here. Is this why the scenario is so long? I could have probably jumped out and fixed that monitor, but... It's fine. We'll just get ready to set off. Okay, gonna stick it into off and release. We're on a flat grade, so the train won't roll anywhere. And then we'll just prepare, literally, to take off. There we go. Oh, wait until 17.03 and 30. Uh, we're a bit early. Leaving this station. <laughs> That's my bad. Oh, well, we'll just cruise slowly. We might be deducted some points for that. I totally was not watching there. There we go. 17.05 and 15 to get to Waterloo. Everyone in the train was bored waiting, so we just, uh, <laughs> we just took off early. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Right, so 25, I just saw it in the, the corner of my eye there. All right, 250 to the next station. We've got tons of time, literally. Still got a minute. We were speeding just a touch coming in there, but we managed to slow it down in time. Excellent. Uh, no monitors here to fix, unfortunately, since we do have time to burn. Let's load up the passengers. Are there monitors here? Nah. Okay, dead man switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You be quiet there, train. We're fine. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds to wait. We'll actually make sure that we wait this time. <laughs> Leaving prematurely. But the doors were already, already closed, so it's not like we left anyone behind, right? I mean, I'll keep the doors open for as long as possible, but there's no point, really. Everyone is in, right? Ten seconds to go. <clears throat> this seems more realistic that it would probably, the train would wait longer. Okay, some points were earned there. I'm not sure if I earned any points for the last one for leaving so early, but oh well. Right, we still get to Harrow and Wellston, so we've got a long way to go here. Uh, yeah, we are speeding slightly, my bad. I was waiting for that 30 to come into effect. I was just a, a wee bit premature with the acceleration there. It's all good. We are heading downhill as well, so... We will pick up a teeny tiny little bit of speed. Right, 20 miles per hour. Let's start slowing down now. Hello, people. Uh, we'll stick one on there. Ooh, a little bit of frame luggage there. Frame drop even. Right, let's pop open the doors. <clears throat> now, yeah, we've got less time now. That's good. <clears throat> it seems more like it. Right, let's close up the doors. Ah, in fact... <laughs> Won't do that, doors, you idiot. Right, screwed that up. <clears throat> Let's get going. 1708 Charing's Cross. I always open the wrong doors, I don't know why. The fact that I already had the correct doors open. Oh, yeah, I went to close them and I, I pushed the wrong button. Okay. It's all good. We'll get there before 1708, maybe. <clears throat> See, it's weird, it gives you like a ton of time and then it just it, it takes the time out from underneath your feet. Next thing you know, you don't have any time. Yeah, we're gonna make it there for 1708, so that little door mishap is not gonna be, uh, not gonna be an issue. Actually, stop in the the area. <clears throat> right, let's get those doors open. Uh, let's get those doors closed. Yeah, if I had nailed that stop, it would have been bang on time. That's okay. Let's get us going. Seventeen ten to get. 500 yards, but we've only got a 20 mile per hour speed limit. Oh well. This could be chalked. Ah, uh, we'll see if we can get there in time. 
Still got a minute to get there. I see lots and lots of green lights ahead, so that's nice. We're going uphill. Get the speed up. Don't want to lose that speed. There we go. Coming into the station now, though. Good old Piccadilly Circus. I'm just going to give it one breaking because I think one breaking is going to be totally fine. Yeah, it is. In fact, one breaking was way too low. Were we still going uphill there? It feels like we're going uphill. Alright, stop. Right there. Fire open them doors. Hello, other tube friend. Right, so 10.15, we need to sort of leave. That's fine, we're going to have plenty of time here. As long as I remember to close the doors and not open the doors at the other side. Passengers are loaded, we'll get ready to take off. There we go. Right, so still 20 miles per hour here. We're back on schedule, which is nice. Right, plenty of green signals ahead as well. We are going uphill slightly. Let's just keep it on uh, two for the moment. All right, we're going up to Oxford Circus. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, we've got a 30 mile per hour speed limit. Let's crank the, uh, crank the speed up. Ooh, it's so dark. Although we are getting a little bit of light off of these, this, uh, conduit here. The trunking. It's pretty cool. Are we actually going to get up to 30 before going into the station? Possibly. Let's start slowing it down. I am happy with that. Doors are open. And let's get those doors closed. And away we go. Uh, speed limit is 30. Nice. But we've got ooh, just over half a mile to get to Regent's Park. Our speed limit is not 30. Speed limit is 20, but it's going to be 30 soon. We are going downhill slightly as well. So we'll just let it coast for the moment. As soon as we hit that 30, we'll, uh, we'll take off. Right, 30 mile per hour and 50 yards. There we go. Still going slightly downhill, but it's all good. Five hundred yards till we get to Regent's Park. I see light at the end of the tunnel. We're gonna get a thirty five mile per hour speed limit and just over half a mile, which is nice. Remember you are coming in here faster, so you may have to slow down quicker. Lead coast. I think under 20 
is a speed that I'm happy to manage once I get closer to the to the marker here. Excellent. Right, let's get those doors fired open. And we're still on schedule, which is nice. Uh, next stop is... No idea, because I never noticed. There we go, we've got lots of time. I can actually leave the load passengers until its full cycle is complete. We are in a flat section, so I'm going to stick it in off and release. And... Let's get going. Uh, Baker Street, next stop. So how many stops have we done? Maybe about seven or, or six or so. And we'll be heading outside as well. We will reach the outside at some point. There we go. Back into coast. And Baker Street is literally just around this next corner. We are going uphill, but not. Whoa! Come on, slow down. A little bit roller coaster ish coming in there, but it's okay. Fire those doors open. Yeah, we've got lots of time. How much time? Enough to go out and do that thing? Nah. <laughs> uh, close up the doors. We are on a grade, so I won't stick it to off and release just yet. Maybe a few seconds before we actually go ahead off. Right, I'll stick it in now. And one, two, three. Stop at Marleybone Station. Right, still plenty of green signals ahead. 35 mile per hour speed limit. It's all good. We are presently on time, although we do have just under a minute to get to uh, Marlebone Station. And it's 300 yards away. Wait, am I going to be late for this? I kind of feel like I am. Oh yeah, slow the slow way down there, buddy. Come on, keep going. <coughs> Fire open those doors. I think we're still gonna be on time. I can get those doors open and closed. Just fine. And we'll close up the doors. Yeah, we're good to go. We're still on time. Objective completed. Edgeway Roads. Which is right in front of us. I can actually see the light coming from the station. Just there. So we are all good for that one. Oh, it's actually further away than I thought. We're there, though. Alright, into the platform we go. Stay behind the yellow line, sir. Okay, we're happy with that. It's pretty good, actually. Fire it back into one. We'll get the passengers loaded. 
Ooh, not much time actually to load in this one. We should still be okay though. And we are off. Right, Paddington Station. Next on the list. Right, so Paddington, 400 odd yards. Speed limit's going to come down to 20 before we actually get into the end of the station, so we'll have to be sort of weary of that. In fact, I'm going to start slowing down for it now. There you go, there's the 20. And here we go into the end of the station. Whoa, it's so loud going through here. Gonna leave it coasting at 10. We've still got some time to get in, so we're okay. It's not too bad. Alright, there we'll do nicely. Okay, there's a nice flat section as well, so once the doors are closed, I can stick it in and off and release. Okay, we are waiting, there we go. So, Warwick Avenue, 1722 and 30 seconds. Speed limit is still 20, but it is coming up to... One uh, thirty five soon. There we go. Excellent. And then it's going to come down to thirty just after the station, it looks like. It's all good. It's quite, it's quite a fair distance, this one. Still got a minute to get there, but we are trundling on at high speed, so, well, 35 miles per hour. Not, you know, not high, high speed, like uh, sort of bullet train high speed, but pretty fast for a tube train. Right, have you left yourself enough time to slow down? I don't think you have. That's good, I'll take it. Right, let's get our pop back into one or fairly early there actually. That was good, goodish. Uh, are we on a flat section? We are. So once these doors are closed. I'm going to go a hop ahead and bop her and off and release, and we'll just get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. All right, let's go. Uh, me to feel. Next stop. And we've got, what, mm, a minute and a half to get there. Should be okay. Uh, speed limit's going to come up to 35 very soon, that is, so that's nice. And then it comes down to 30, and wow. What is the point in that? I didn't even get to my, my 35 before I had to slow down. Alright, so, cruising, oh, 1.1 mile, 50 miles per hour. Ah, uh, I think that's as we come into Queen's Park, right? We sort of start to head outside. Let's keep the speed going, because we're going uphill. Come on. Keep it at 30. Right, 
I wonder what kind of day it is going to be outside. Is it going to be a nice sunny day? Is it going to be windy? Is it going to be raining? Is there going to be snow? A tornado? Volcanic eruption? What's, what's it going to be? Oh god, slow down. You're way past the... Nah, we're fine. Quiet, you. Right, so we're loading passengers. We've got plenty of time. Let's get those doors closed up. Stick it into off and release. And we'll get ready to blast off again. Now, because it's coming down to 50 miles per hour, kind of makes me think that we are after Kilburn Park we're going to be heading to Queen's Park and then we'll be we'll be outside again into the daylight so we are vacating the darkness imminently which is nice right so 30 miles per hour uh, 30. Let's try and keep it at 30. Nice flat grade. Ah, oh, now it's heading uphill. Spoke too soon. I suppose if we're heading outside soon, it sort of makes sense that we would be heading up. Right, we all good here. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Five yards, I'll take it. Doors are open. Ooh, we've got less time on this one. Where did all my time go? Get those doors closed up. Off and release, and we're away. Uh, it's still telling me to uh, load passengers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> I think it's, this happened to me before, right? All right, hold on. Okay, so we are back. It, it was a, uh, I've checked this out. Uh, it's a weird bug where I closed the doors and it said the doors were there, but it said that the doors were not locked, uh, but they are locked. <laughs> You have to stop the train and open the doors and then lock them again in order for it to work. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know why it does that. Uh, but we're now super late thanks to that. Which is a real nightmare. But at least I figured out. I thought I was going to have to go all the way back and that would have really sucked. Because uh, that is not something you want to do. But yeah, the doors were locked, and we were all good, but it, for some reason it said that the doors were not locked, uh, when they clearly were. Right, so let's load passengers, we're now super late, thanks game. Right, so, load passengers, lock doors, right, we're off, let's get going. Kensal Green. We're outside though. Things are looking good outside. There we go. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to speed a, a little bit because I want to try and get that time back. 
There is a 15 mile per hour speed limit coming up fairly soon. Oh, I can't go over this fence, you see. I can go out here, though. That's nice. Could be nice screenshot there. There we go. I like it. Right. Let's stick everything back on. Let's get going. Uh, we are going to pass that 15. I th we are past it, but we're waiting for the back of the train to to clear it. Come on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fire it up to 15 because it should go straight up to 30. There we go, straight up to 45 even. Man, that sucked. That door bug really screwed us over. We're all good though. Back outside, things will go a lot quicker now. But the distances are absolutely longer for the, the top side stuff. It seems like a nice day. A nice evening, since it's half past five. I've only got 15 seconds to... to get to where I need to be. We are going to have to slow down a lot. That's good, I'll take it. Right, get those doors fired open. And we should have left by now, really, if we're perfectly honest. Yeah, that doors unlock thing totally screwed me up. Get the doors closed, come on, come on, let's go. There we go. 17, 33, and 45. Let's see if we can gain a bit more time back here. Although I don't think it's going to be possible. Cancel Green Station. Right, if I'm heading this way. <laughs> I was never going to catch the train there. It was, it was literally a way. It's an interesting looking church. Oh my god, we're speeding. We're speeding by a lot. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> Did I gain some time back? That's the main thing. That's all I want to know. I think I actually did. Because <laughs> it now looks like we're going to possibly make it there on time. Right, this one's really weird. This is another one that wants you to stop the train in the middle, but I don't want to do that. I want to actually stop it in here so that the full length of the train is actually in the station. Yeah, we're late. We're still late. There we go. Pop those doors open. We might not get gold for this one. Which is okay, because I've had gold for it before. But it's that that stupid door bug. Uh, right, doors are locked. Load passengers, right. It went away this time. 
So what happened was we loaded passengers, we then locked the doors, uh, closed the doors. You can't move the train unless the doors are locked. But the game, for some reason, was saying that the doors were still open, even though the train was able to move. Uh, which is kind of an issue. <laughs> Don't know why. I've actually, uh, whilst I was looking there, I went on to the a forum and I'd heard people having this issue uh, not just on this line but on other lines as well where doors would close they would move off from the station but it would still say that the doors are open even though it's physically impossible for the train uh, to move while the doors are open I suppose it's not physically impossible there is maybe a way you could sort of bypass the system you know, manually hold the doors open while getting the train to move. Is this going to be a good stop or a bad stop? It's going to be a short stop unless you ease up on those brakes. Right, that's fine actually. Pop doors open. Yeah, we're... Oh, we're actually kind of on time. Off we go. Nice. Right, so 17.38 to get to the next station. Two minutes to stop at Stonebridge Park. Now, in the last episode, this is where the depot was. This is where we unloaded our... Well, not really unloaded anything. The train was already unloaded. But this is where we parked our uh, 72 up for the night. Imagine you stayed in this house here. And this is all you saw every day. And there's, there's another one coming. Ah, he's still a ways away. There he is. There we go. So we're approaching Wembley as well. Wembley and Wembley North. That's all good. Come on. Get up to 45. You can do it, train. I believe in you. <laughs> At least there is decent cab viewing on this train. You can actually see stuff. Little 2% up bubble as well. Uh, slow down, please. That's good. Doors open. Uh, yep. Plenty of time. I can't, I can't believe I've actually managed to make up the time on this. But I was speeding for a section. Right, the doors are locked. Right, game? You know this. Right, off we go. One mile, Wembley Central. We. I'm actually catching up in the train, so our speed. Camera speed must be roughly about 30 miles per hour. Or maybe 25. Oh. <laughs> we like a bit of good old chase cam. Alright, round we go. 45 miles per hour. Excellent. Although it is going to come down to 40 in a couple of hundred yards. Hello there, friend. You know what, we'll give you a...
<laughs> oh wow, yeah, speed limit has come down. But it, it literally goes back up as we come around the other side of this tunnel. Yeah, was there a point slowing down there? Ah, I suppose we're coming into the station. Uh, 1740 and 45. Oh, yeah. We've got time. We've got time. Right, is this the other weird one that sort of plunks the stopping point in the middle of the station rather than the far end of the station? No, this is a good one, apparently. Okay. Alright, in we go to Wembley Central. You're going a tad bit slow there, but it's okay. Dink. There we go. Doors open. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, we've got plenty of time here. This is nice. We can leave those load passengers, right? Close the doors. There we go. Right. I keep, I'm so paranoid that that load passengers bug is going to pop up. Right, off we go to North Wembley. Now, there's not many stops after this. I wonder if we have to park the train up after this. Or if it just gets left at the platform. How high can you actually go? That's as high as you can go. So I want to see if we could get a nice view of Wembley Stadium. Right, we are approaching Wembley North, 1743. I think we can do it. That's possible. Depending on where we decide to break. Uh oh, this is... Yeah, this one is... Tells you to stop in the middle of the platform so that half the train is not on the platform. It's kind of weird, so we are going to push past it and stop where the train should actually stop. Oh my god. Why are we going so fast there? What was that? Don't care. Get the doors open. I mean, it still looks pretty good, right? I mean, don't come out of these doors. But yeah, look. If we'd stopped halfway, half the train would not have been in the station. Uh, close up the doors. We'll get ready to rock and roll in just a second here. There we go. It's all good. We're making decent time here. Let's get off and release on. And let's get going. South Kenton. Just over a minute to get to South Kent, and it's pretty good. Emergency equipment, pod contents, one short circuit device, six shoe paddles, one fire extinguisher. Cool. Right, uh, let's get going. 700 yards to South Kent. Kenton, we are heading to Harrow and Wilds, yeah, Wildston, 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 Wildston. Don't know. <laughs> oh man, I've only got like thirty. Uh, yeah, this one's a bit further away. It's 
start slowing down. That's fine. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. Get ready to close up them doors because we've actually got less time at this uh, this platform. Get them doors closed up. And we'll get ready to take off again. There we go. And one, two, three, go. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, where am I? There we are. <laughs> That was really weird, actually. There's some invisible walls going around here. This is me, right? It is me. <laughs> I thought I was the other train back there. I'm so confused. Right, so, just over half a mile to get to Kenton. So it's quite a fair distance away. Surely we'll get up to up to 45. I see the 10 miles per hour. Now the 10 miles per hour is literally at the turning point uh, just after Harrow. So I think it's basically going to be this stop and then we'll be off to Harrow will be the next stop after this. Unless there's a really short hop in between but I can't remember the route from when I did it last time which was only like two days ago. Not this actual route, but the, the outside part, a round hall, which does the, the outside leg of the tube. Okay, here we go. Start slowing the hell down, because we're already going pretty fast. Was four breaking the appropriate number? Yeah, four, then down to one was fine. There we go. So here we are, Kenton. Uh, yeah, we've got time. We've got time to spare. We can leave the doors open for their duration. I want to leave them open for the duration of the loading passengers now because the last time it said that the doors, the passengers had not been loaded and that the doors were not locked, even though the train was literally moving. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. I have a sneaking suspicion that I possibly opened the doors on the wrong side. And then when I closed them again it was still saying load passengers. But the weird thing was when the train was moving I was able to open the doors and then close them again. And then it said that it was good to go. It kept on saying, coming up saying lock doors. Which is odd. But I've heard of people having this issue before. Where they've moved away from a station. Uh, doors have been closed and it's, it's said that the, the doors are still open. <laughs> right, so Harrow and Wildston. We are coming to the end of the journey. Nice, nice. Right, highly doubt we're going to get gold for this either. Since there were quite a few screw-ups along the way, but we'll see how we get on. We've got 24,600. And we'll gain a bit more points for whatever we do rocking up into here. Let's try and get bang on and we'll try and get it in on time. Uh, 10 miles per hour coming up soon. Let's stick that in the coast. One braking, two braking. Three braking.
Come on, game. That was perfect. Right now, it was perfect. Right, get those doors open. Objective complete. What is? I think like gold is like thirty-two thousand or something. Is it not? Why are they loading so slow here? Don't know. Alright, wait till 17 and 50. Thank you for completing this run. Let's see how you performed. Yes, let's see indeed. <laughs> uh, stick that in uh, off and release. Okay, there we go. So, stop accuracy. Alright, I want to see. Have we got a gold? Total score is 25,658. Uh, so that's 0.6 of a yard. So that's, right, I want to see. 64 yards. Wollaston Junction. So that's the one that was totally screwed, right? And 68 yards. So these ones. This North Wembley platform was the one where I refused to stop in the middle of the platform because it's stupid. Uh, the other one is, I think, the same. Yeah, so we did okay, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Totally fine. Uh, traveling the tube. No, 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 no. Right, go to main menu. Right, so that is going to be it for this episode. We have now completed five of five scenarios we'll possibly move on a different line now that we've done these we could do the timetable stuff uh i'll maybe change it up i've got the mod for the not the 1972 is it the 38 one i can't remember i've got it though uh, i might just punt that on we can do a couple of routes using that but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode as always if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men, this has been Train Sim World, and I will catch us later.